Hi, this is Steve from Theta Servos, and I'm going to just do a quick little review on a little highlight overview on Theta Servos here. So, right here, I've got two different models of Theta Servos here. We have the Razer C1s, and we also have the Razer DH1 um, with the matching TH1 tail. And what these differ from the the C ones are that they are low profile but full size servos. So they still perform like full size servos, um, performance wise and speed wise. But you know they do have a little bit smaller of a form factor, so that way it's easier to kind of fit them on a smaller heli. Or if you want to um, keep a weight of a nitro down per se, you can still run full size instead of the minis and get that full size power and reliability and durability without having the sacrifice of the additional weight. Um, one of the great things about Theta Servos is that you can program it with most of your common Android phones. Now, it is Android only, so for your iOS people, I'm sorry about that, but we are working on a solution for Android, uh, non-Android folks. So I'm going to log into my phone real quick here, and what I'm going to do is we're going to actually take the readings of my tail servo. Uh, tail servo is easy to get because the NFC chip is actually located right on the back of the bottom of the servo right here. So a little oval looking coil that is the NFC reader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this and right there it says read success and so besides these servos being set up for a helicopter you can actually set them up for airplanes, buggies, drift and other things um, but we're going to just talk about the helicopter aspect for this video. I can do my reversing on this. I can set 760 or 1520 pulse width. Um, I can change the neutral position where your center position is. We can also change your P and your D loops, right? So you can kind of mess with uh, your, 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 basically your looping on your servos here. There are dead zone. You can adjust how much dead zone you have. If some folks like to have a little bit more dead zone in the middle. Um, your input PWM, your output angle, your soft start, your max current, which is a really cool thing. You can up your current a little to give that servo just that initial boost in speed because it has a little bit more power. Um, beyond that, you have overload current and overload time, and those are just two settings that you can set for how much a servo will take before it starts to kind of back off because you know you're asking too much for it or the helicopter is asking too much for it. So there you have it. Um, you know the Seiya servos do come in this this nice uh, teal blue but they do also come in black for those folks that like to keep a nice little low profile, you know, um, not to have too much color on the helicopters too. So you have options. Um, they also make a full line of servos from all the way from micros all the way to full size. They make a drift servo with drift gyros built into it. They have all sorts of cool technology. So definitely go check them out at fasttech.cc. That's their official website. And you go look up Theta Servo on Google or your uh, favorite search engine. Also, check out Bill Ann's YouTube channel. I'm sure he'll have more videos on Theta Servo. So like, subscribe, and smash that uh, notification button. Thank you.